Hey my dudes, it's the night before classes start and we are going to be prepping for a new semester of classes. If you hear noises, by the way, that's Apollo or the thunderstorm outside. Tonight I'm going to do all the prepping for my classes that start tomorrow. I was going to do this earlier, but things happened, so I'm not starting it till now. Before we get into the video, don't forget to follow the Instagram on the screen and check out the small creator of the month in the description, which is Maddie Mae Sassy. She has an amazing channel. If you like my content, you'll love hers. And then and there's also the organization slash charity of the month, which is going to be NIDA for September, National Eating Disorder Association. And if you want to donate to NIDA, you can go to the eye icon and go to my last video where I talk about my weight gain and talk about recovery and stuff. And you can donate to NIDA there. Even if we reach the goal, please donate if you can. Um, the goal is set at $100, but we're almost there already and I literally posted that today. Okay guys, so I'll show you a picture of the to-do list I made. It was really simple, but um, I need to download my syllabus and thoroughly read them. Use schedules to make a calendar like of my classes and stuff, just to make sure I know like what days of the week I have what Zoom classes because it is gonna be easy to forget. I need to make a to-do list for stuff to do before class starts, just for like the first week, and then download and buy textbooks, and then set semester goals. So the calendar is gonna be especially important because this is all online this semester, so um, you guys probably know how easy it is to forget assignments and stuff like that. So that's why we're gonna be making an in-depth calendar. So now I'm gonna get started by downloading every syllabus for each class, and then um, reading thoroughly through them and you know taking note of certain things for each class also before we get into that sorry that the lighting in this video is so weird i'm doing this at night with like nothing at my house because i'm at my home right now instead of my college house so that's why it's a little dark apollo's going nuts Okay, ignore the rain, but I'll be taking five classes, so I have all five syllabi or syllabuses. I should know how to do, say that, but um, I have all five of them, and I'll export them to my iPad, put them in Notability, and then figure it out from there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make a new divider for each class and then have subjects within that. So this one's going to be biochem. So course materials is going to go under biochem and this is going to have the syllabus and the schedule and I'm going to do that for each class. Okay, I have all of my stuff for biochem, my bio lab, ecology lab, um, IH, and evolution. Now that I have all of the syllabi downloaded, it's time to go through each one and highlight stuff, um, try to figure out what's important. So I'm going to do that for probably much longer than I need to. Okay guys, so while I go through all my syllabi, I'm going to watch a Stephanie Harlow video. It's true crime and I love her videos. I just love even having her voice in the background. Now for the fun part, we are going to be making a calendar. I'm making it digitally, but you can make it in an actual hard copy planner or you can make your own calendar. Basically, I'm gonna use the syllabus, the schedule for each class and compile all the major due dates color coordinate like each class things like that i'm doing it on an app called evernote that you can get your for your like from the app store um but you guys like i said can use any other app that you want to i might change what i use because i've heard good things about notion i think and then OneNote and google calendars i've heard good things about many and i feel like i might switch up my calendar not totally sure yet but as of now i'm going to make it on evernote since it is like 9.30 right now and tomorrow classes start. So at least I'm gonna get everything into one spot and then I'm going to update you guys after. Okay. 
Okay, so I have my calendar template and I deleted everything before September so that it starts on September and goes all the way till the end of the year and the end of the semester. So I'm going to pick what colors I'm going to use um, for each class and start getting biochem into the schedule. Okay guys, it's the morning of classes. I cannot believe my hair is doing this. And my hair is gonna be a mess in this vlog, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Apollo's going insane and I'm gonna go make some coffee and then finish my prepping because my classes aren't till later. So this is more go so going to be like a full, maybe day or two vlog. My desk is so empty. This is so sad for the first day of classes. I wish I was with my roommate, sir. Not moved out of here yet because it's pretty empty. <laughs> it's not a very atmospheric space. <laughs> for school. Just kidding, it's actually time to finish prepping because Miss Caitlin waited till the last minute to prep. So I didn't film much of me making my calendar because I kept changing stuff and trying to figure out where stuff was gonna go, but I pretty much have it all set so I'm gonna show you guys the rough draft basically of my calendar. It'll become more accurate as I learn how classes work and when stuff I th think will be due and things like that. Oh, by the way, it's like 7 in the morning. Oh, it's 8 now. I woke up at 6.30 though. I have no clue why. I think I had a nightmare. I don't even have class until like 2. Okay, so everything is checked boxes so I can check things off as I go to class or do them. Um, the two completely online classes, Biochem and IH, are color coded. I don't have IH in here yet, but um, just so I can keep along with the class schedule, I put those in their own colors. Assignments due are in the salmon color. Uh, exams are bright red. Other obligations will be green, such as if I have a club meeting or, you know, like an exam study session or anything like that. And I did this for the entire semester. So I basically fill out like the first couple weeks and then copy and paste for whatever else is coming up and then also put in like big dates, like exam dates and stuff like that. Um, this is Evernote. This is the calendar template that starts on Monday because I prefer that. It just works with my brain better. So today is the second and I don't have class until two, but I do have a lecture and a module to go through. So. Um, I might work on those this early morning. I do have a couple textbooks already downloaded. My evolution textbook is one of them and I already read chapter three because I was so bored this week. So I do have some textbooks downloaded. I use the Kindle app for the most part. Um, I need to get one more book I think though. My IH class is about surveillance. So this is the book I'm about to get. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get it on my iPad or order a hard copy, but um, I think this is the last one I'm required to get. I personally have not bought many textbooks for college. I think I've bought like two, maybe rented one, um, <laughs> and it's my senior year. And the way I do that is basically I use um, my roommate's textbooks if they had the same classes as me, and I also... Um, 
just waited for the professor to let us know whether the book was required or not to actually get it because sometimes they'll give you a textbook that you can use but it's not required. This year for my evolution class I did get the unrequired textbook but that's just because um, I know some things are going to be hard to understand and the textbook comes with like videos and stuff. Time to set semester goals. Okay so here are my semester goals. Um, they're pretty broad but I still like to set some goals right at the beginning of the semester just so I have an idea of like what I want to do. Um, I definitely the first two are like my main ones. Attending most of the lectures, um, some of my lectures are asynchronous, meaning like I don't have to attend the real time lecture, but I'm gonna try and do that this year just so I can stay on track as much as possible since everything is online. So um, yeah, I recommend if you have a hard time with staying caught up, definitely attend the lectures in real time so you can keep yourself on a routine and stay caught up. I don't generally fall behind, but I'm going to try and avoid that since everything is online. It's only 8.30 and I'm already on my second cup of coffee. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna make a today to-do list. Um, I got some new pens. You guys know I like the Inkjoy Gel 0.7 paper mate pens and I got them in four different colors. I have the black one I always use and then a few different colors and I love them and I want to find an excuse to use them so we're gonna make a to-do list. Okay, so in the Good Notes app, I cleaned up my notebooks, made my notebooks for this semester, and I just went with all the same cover. I have my old notes in there, and then random notebooks in there. I think I'm going to start with biochemistry, because I know that I have to do one lecture for that. And I'm trying to do a lecture a day, so I'm prepared for the first exam, which is not next week, but I think the week after. Okay guys, it's 11 o'clock and I finished my biochem reading and now I'm going to do the first lecture. I'm going to watch it and then annotate the PowerPoint and um, figure out how this class is going to be basically. I got all of the PowerPoints for the first exam downloaded and now I'm going to watch lecture number one and annotate the slides as I go through it. Biochemistry 401 lecture one. This is an introduction to biochemistry. finished my notes on the first lecture. It was a really short lecture, so it didn't take me long at all. But now the fun part is I can check it off on my calendar. And I'll probably start lecture two and maybe even three like later today or like right now, I'm not sure. Um, because that was a really quick lecture because it was mostly just introduction. Okay, so I'm about to take notes on the first lecture. And although I took the notes like on my iPad, as you guys saw, 
it automatically syncs up to Google Drive. So it's already on Google Drive for me to use on my computer while I take notes on my iPad. Okay guys, I've Okay guys, I finished taking notes on lecture 1. I picked out like my color scheme, how I'm going to do it. I have to still erase the thing in the middle. But yeah, that's what my notes are going to look like this year for biochem. Okay guys, now that I'm done with biochem, I have 50 minutes till or 40 minutes until my first Zoom lecture, and it's for evolution. So I think until then, I'm going to have lunch and edit this video, and then I'm going to update you guys when I get back to school stuff. Apollo's at my feet purring. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's really freaking adorable. Okay, hello everybody. Um, we're gonna get started in just a sec. I've just started recording the video. Um, Okay guys, evolution is done and that leaves me with Ecology Lab, which is 3 to 5.50. After that, I'm done with my first day, so I will keep you guys posted. Okay, so I've taken a little break. It's 5 o'clock right now. My class ended up getting out pretty early, so I didn't have to sit through a super, super long lecture, um, but I am working on the class. Um, we could work on like what we were going to do in lab alone. So basically I had to find a peer-reviewed paper, like a research paper, and then I had to, I have to analyze it basically. So that's what I'm going to work on. And I am just going to show you guys a little bit of me annotating a research paper. Okay guys, I got most everything done for today. I even got a couple worksheets done that are due like in two weeks. So I'm pretty set. Um, I have one more class that I wanna work on today, but I really just wanna shower and rest and not worry about filming. So I am going to end the video here. Don't forget to comment below if you made it to the end of the video. I always appreciate when you guys do. And yeah, as always, I love you guys with all of my heart and I will see you very soon in another video. Peace out guys.